Okay, so I've got black netting and I've got rock and roll, which is a black glitter. So it's black with a little bit of shimmery silver glitter in it. So we're going to cover this nail with netting. I'm going to size this up. So I'm going to cut a section out first. And then what I need to do is cut out this shape. So I'm holding that over. So you can see how that's going to fit there. I'm going to use brush on glue over the nail. Take your piece. Oop. Fiddly, fiddly stuff this is. And place the netting on. Give it a bit of pressure. So this is just a different way of putting netting in. You can press it directly into the acrylic because the nail's so short. I know I'm gonna be pushed for the time of the product setting and all that. This is just a little bit easier to stick it down. Just gonna cut the eggs empty, what excess? Cut the excess off. Don't worry if you don't get it too close because that will file away after. And then with the rock and roll powder, small bead, straight up to the smile line. And we're basically just framing the smile line and covering the join from the netting to the nail bed shape that we've created. This is also going to make this smile line that we've created stand out a lot more. So I'm going to do this on the other nails. Same again, I'm going to size that up. So cut out your square that's big enough for that nail. I don't think you guys understand how small this nail is. I'm just going to show you. So that's a penny. And that's the nail. It's so tiny! So it's quite hard to do because it's so tiny. I don't mean short, I mean the actual nail is just so tiny. So the next stage is we're going to encapsulate with clear acrylic. And this will form the rest of the structure of the nail. Make sure you cover all your netting, make sure you cover all the sides. So we're going to do that on these ones and then I'll do the full ones in a minute. So we've encapsulated those, now we're going to do these. So first of all we need to size these up. So I'm going to cut some oblong, oblong is that the right word? Rectangular shapes. Mm -hmm. Both mean the same thing. One's for school kids <laughs> and one's for adults. Which is which? We'll let you work that one out. Oblong, oblong is for kids. <laughs> Rectangular is for grown-ups, is that right? 
Had it gone on the other way round, maybe. Really? <laughs> really? Um, I think you get taught oblong when you're a kid, and then it's like one day they just go. Actually, it's called a rectangle. I thought I got taught rectangle. To be mm. fair, I don't know. I can't remember school. So I've cut the cuticle area so it's nice and round. So that's going to fit onto that nail. Because this is a full nail, I'm going to set this straight into the acrylic. Quite a wet bead. And take your netting, place it on, and just ease it onto the acrylic and it will start to stick. Just going to press that down with my brush so I can press a little bit firmer and push it into the nail and the acrylic. Just going to put a little bit over the top, not a massive amount, just a thin bit just so I know it's actually stuck down. I'm going to do that on this nail because I want this to start to set while I do this nail. I'm just going to cut off this excess. Carefully, I don't want to cut Nikki. And then what we're going to do is we're going to edge this nail all around the edge with the same powder. So we're going to use rock and roll again using a 3D brush. I'm going to encapsulate that with clear acrylic. This is going to give the structure, it's also going to encase that netting inside. So you're still going to do your apex and all that. If you don't know what an apex is, check this video out here and I'll tell you all about it. So the same again on this one. So now I'm going to use the electric file to file these into shape and then I'll go in with a hand file to perfect them further. So I'm just going to use the hand file now to shape the nail further. So I'm going to do the same filing routine as I always do, so I'll go up the side walls around the cuticle pre-edge and then over the top now they filed I'm just going to go over with the white block to smooth them out a little bit more I'm going to do that on all five nails So I'm just cleaning those up with um, some acetone. It'll just smooth the surface a little bit and it'll just clean them all up. And then we are going to apply Mega Gloss. I'm gonna apply that on all five nails and then we'll go into the Lamp and Cure. So before I oil these to finish them, I'm just going to clean underneath so you can see the transparency. 
I'm going to do that with some gel residue wipe off solution. Just give them a quick clean under there. Get rid of the dust. I'm going to oil them around the cuticles and rub that in. So if we have a look at those now. You can see the transparency of them. And they're not too long. So you can see the transparency, it's a really cool design. It's not too difficult to do. And you can see the little bits of sparkle around these edges as well in that black acrylic. They are, that's some easy, manageable nails for people who have jobs that they have to use their hands with and do stuff. So they can't wear nails this long, unfortunately. But you can still have really cool, awesome nails with short nails. See you next time. Bye-bye.